Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX SQLite database tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have written some code to connect our JavaFX app to SQLite database. And we have created some classes for our login page, which were login controller.java, login model.java, SQLite connection.java, and login.fxml, right? Now we are going to uh, complete this login functionality in this video. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to open our login.fxml file. So right click on it and open with scene builder. I have already opened it. And in here we are going to add some controls so that we can check the username and password against our database values. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some controls here. So first control will be our text field, which will be for the username. And the next control will be a password field, which will be for the password. And I'm also going to add a button here. So just add this button. Now select your both text fields and the button and we are going to go to the properties and in here we are going to change the font of uh, these text field and the buttons and we are going to make it 18 okay and now we will give some prompt text to the username text so select your uh, username uh, text field which is the top one and then go to the property here and in the prompt text property you can just write user name okay and it's going to show here as a prompt text and the same we will do for the password text field so just write a prompt text for example password okay and press enter and next what we are going to do here is we are going to select our username text field and go to the code category and we are going to define the ID for the username text field. So for example, I will just write txt username. Okay. And same we will do for the password. So the ID here will be txt password. And uh, I will just select my button and I'm going to change its text to login. So just write login on the button text here. So our design is complete. So you can save our FXML file by going to the file and just click save here or just hit control S for saving your file and then go to your Eclipse IDE and refresh your uh, project. And you can see all these text fields and IDs are added to your uh, login.fxml file. Now what we are going to do next is we are going to go to our login model.java class, right? And in here we are going to create a new method. And this method we are going to name it as is login method and it's going to return a boolean value also. So just write public boolean is login and as a argument we are going to pass two arguments here for checking username and password. So just uh, write string user and the second argument will be string pass. Okay. And just close this method here. And now what we are going to do is we are going to add a try catch block. And just above our try catch block, what we are going to do is we are going to define some variables. Okay. So first variable will be the prepared statement variable and you can name it as prepared statement itself and the second variable will be the result set okay so just declare this variable called result set and name the object as same and now we are going to declare a string variable and we are going to name it as query because we are going to prepare our query and assign it to this query variable. Okay. And in here we are going to write some query to query the database. So what we want to write here, we want to select username and password from our table, right? So we can write select asterisk from our table name 
and if you remember we have created uh, this database in the last video and uh, just open this database from your project where you have defined your uh, database inside your project so just open it from there and you can see we have this employee table inside our database so just call this database inside this query and then we will add a where clause here so just write where your username column name so our username column name is username and password column is password here okay so we are going to use these uh, column names just write user name is equal to question mark and password is equal to question mark also okay so what this query is basically doing is it's querying your uh, database and it's querying your table employee and it's searching for the username and password whatever we provide from these uh, argument user and password right now go inside your try block and take your prepared statement and we are going to create a prepared statement from the connection so just use equals and then if you remember in the last video we, we have defined this connection object so take this connection object and then call a method called prepared statement which takes a string argument which is our query so just pass our query variable here and then close the code and then once again take your prepared statement and then call a method called set string and it takes two argument also one is the parameter index and other is the value so parameter index uh, is for the username and password and here index starts from one so the index for username will be one and index for password will be two okay so just write one and then we will pass this uh, string variable which we are taking from the argument as a first argument in a same way just copy the same code and as a second index we are going to pass this password okay and now we are going to take this result set object and paste it here and then just write your prepared statement dot execute query okay and now you can take this uh, result set to uh, see what is the result inside it so you can just write if result set dot next and then you can just go inside the if statement and you can return true from here okay now what this result set is doing so once your prepared statement is uh, prepared and then it executes this query with these values so user will be replaced here at the place of this question mark password will be replaced here at the place of this question mark and then your query is executed and your result will be saved here now if it returns any result using this uh, next method on result set we will find if it is returning any result or not okay so if we have a result more than one it's going to go inside this if condition and then we know that our username and password is correct okay otherwise what we are going to do is we are going to just write else and then we are going to return false here and in the catch block also we are going to return false if some exception occurs we want to show that username and password is not correct now finally when you have written your code it's a good practice to close your prepared statement and result set so just add a finally statement here so if you know with try and catch you can also write this finally statement which is always executed if you have uh, any exception or if you don't even have any exception this line of code inside this finally is always executed so take your prepared statement object and then call a close method on it 
and same we will do for the result set so just use result set dot close now if you can see here this prepared statement dot close and result set dot close is giving us this error so uh, what this error is first of all we need to initialize this prepared statement with null and also the result set with null and then just click this bulb here and then use the first option which says add throw declaration is going to add uh, this uh, option before your method which is throws exception okay and then this error will be gone so now our is login method inside our login model is complete so let's go to the login controller dot java class and in here we are going to define two text fields so let's declare the text field variable so i'm going to just copy and paste something like this and in here we will just uh, add a text field from here and for the second text field also we are going to add this text field so this text field we are going to assign the same name as we have assigned in the fxml file so select your username text field and take the name which you have assigned as a fx id in the code section and then paste in front of the first text field variable and then take your uh, password fx id which you have defined here and paste it in front of this second text field now let's define a method in which we are going to check this username and password so it's going to be a public void login method for example so just write login and it's going to take this action event method so just add action event and then event as an argument and then close this uh, method and inside this method what we are going to do is we are going to take the text from our text username and text password and we are going to check this so just call if and then using your login model object which we have created in the last video inside the controller just take login model and call the method which we have just created which is is login method it's right and in here it takes username and password so we can use these text field so just use text a username dot get text and second text field text password dot get text okay and then close your uh, if statement and it's going to show you this error so we need to enclose this in a try catch block and the error will be gone and then if uh, this is login method returns us the true value we can set to the label so we have declared in the last example a label variable we are going to use the same label and then in here we are going to set some text here for example user name and password is correct else we are going to set the different method so just write else and we are going to take same label and this time we will just say that username and password is not correct so just write is not correct and in the catch block also you can just uh, paste the same code which you have written in the else condition okay so if it throws some error then we can also display username and password is not correct now one last thing which is remaining here is you need to connect this method to the button click event so just copy this method name go to your fxml file select your button and then go to the code and in here in the on action uh, category just select this login method and save your code and then go to your project and then refresh your project and then let's run our project so our app is running now so let's give some random username and password and let's check what message it shows so just click login and it says username and password is not correct and now let's give the correct username and password 
and correct username and password in our database table is test and test you see username is equal to test and password is equal to test so when we give username is equal to test and the password is equal to test and when we click login now it says username and password is correct okay so what this app is doing it's basically querying your database table and it matches these values against your table values and if these values are correct it's going to show us username and password is correct otherwise in the case when we give the random value and click login it's going to give us login is fail or username and password is not correct so that's it for now in the next video i'm going to show you how you can open a new stage or new form when the username and password is correct and we are going to see some more functionality using javafx and sqlite so stay tuned and please wait comment subscribe and bye for now